regardless of how beautiful the work is, if nobody asked you to do it, if you're doing it illegally, that's graffiti. Whereas mural art, you can get paid to do it. You know, someone asks you to do something, they say, you know, here, use this wall, or I want this, I want that. And then that becomes a mural. Everyone can appreciate and enjoy graffiti and mural work. The mural on Mills and Colonial was done for a friend of mine. She was selling women's hats and, and heels, and she wasn't doing that well. So she called me one day and said, hey, I need a sign. Can you come paint it? She went from having zero foot traffic on a daily basis to about 50 people a day stopping in her store. She did so well that she actually moved locations, but the mural stayed. That mural brings up all the other art in the area because it's the biggest piece there and it's, it's the most central. I like to paint what I seen and what I seen growing up and what I see still now. I look at the beauty in the world. I don't like to look at the struggle and the turmoil. As a testament to that, most murals are done in depressed neighborhoods. And it's amazing the respect and appreciation that the people of the poor community give you. I mean, I get the most praise and the most enjoyment on the faces of the people that live in the areas where we do the work. Where other people would see it as a blight, these people see it as like, look at this you know, professional artwork that we have right in our neighborhood. Ever since I started doing murals and doing things in the street, people respond so incredibly to the work. Orlando is the city beautiful, and I want to help it be more beautiful. That's one of my main ambitions, is to start doing city projects, underpasses, different things, just, just doing a lot of work. I try to give people that, that want to see beauty more beauty to see. I feel very accepted by the people of Orlando. Murals are for the people, and, and they do appreciate it.